Hello, welcome or welcome back. Today I am talking on the topic of enoughness and in fact the videos that I'm going to do all this week are going to be on the topic of enoughness. That's the theme of the week and I also have a new meditation that I want to share with you so stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi and I am a qualified life coach and author. I am also super passionate about the amazing teachings of the Law of Assumption as originally taught by the great American mystic Neville Goddard. It is the stories that we tell that create our life. So if you want to change your life, then you need to know how to change the story. And if you want to create the most amazing life, then you need to know how to create the most amazing stories. And that is where these teachings can help and that is why I am here. I am telling myself much better stories and I want to help you to do the same. If you would like help with this, I am available for one-to-one -one coaching. I also have a free 21 day, I think it is, set yourself up with the Ultimate Self Concept course, which is available for instant access right now. Or if you just want to stay connected, I am on Instagram. All of those details are in the box below. So check that out. Okay, let's get into it. So today and all this week, we are talking on the topic of enoughness. It's a big topic, which is why I want to dedicate the three videos this week to to the topic and also I have a new meditation that I want to share with you on the topic of enoughness and I have a very personal story that I want to share with you where I have been applying both these principles and also the meditation which I kind of made for myself to help me through this situation which was a phenomenal experience and I want to share that with you. So I am actually on holidays at the moment. I now take my studio, my lighting, everything with me so that I can set things up and do my videos. But I am on holidays in the beautiful Dunghuddy country, which is in northern New South Wales, otherwise known as Southwest Strox. It is absolutely stunning. I've actually been holidaying here with my family since I was two, so that's around 40 so years. This place is so spiritual. The energy here is so phenomenal. Uh, it's just the most incredible place. If you ever get to Australia, if you're in Australia, I highly recommend visiting Dunhuddy country uh, where it's, it's a very uh, sacred Aboriginal place. There's a lot of history here, a lot of energy. It's absolutely stunning. So I will try and link those videos and photos as well. Okay, so today we are talking about enoughness and the reason why I I wanted to do three videos this week is because it's such a big topic. The story of enoughness, the topic of enoughness is so pervasive in our lives and it's a setup. It's a perfect setup. We've set it up because this is all a dream. This is all a movie. And of course, we've set up the characters and the environment in order to have the experience that we're having. And one of the setups that we've put in place, very expertly, I might add, we're so phenomenal, is this idea of fear and greed and not enough. So very much the society that we live in all around the world, and especially what we've seen over the last few years, is the story, the pervasive common is this story of not enoughness. And I won't say in everybody, it's in most of us to some degree. It could otherwise be known as unworthiness, not feeling worthy, not being worthy, believing that you're not good enough, or on the flip side of the coin, believing that you're too good. So the two sides of the unworthy, not enough coin are less than or better than. So if you feel at times that you are less than others, or if you feel at times you're better than others. Both those states of consciousness come from the same coin, which is the not good enough or not worthy, unworthy coin. And it's a very common pervasive story and most of the world in which we live in is founded on the not good enoughness story, the sense of fear and greed. That's the capitalist society that we live in. Obviously not all cultures live in that way, very much founded on fear and greed. And the fear and greed behavior that we see in people comes from this idea of not being enough, not having enough, they're not being enough. And so because there's not enough, because we don't feel enough, we feel like we have to take from others. We feel like we have to grab at reality and take what we can and hoard. You know, we saw it here in Australia. I don't know about where you are, but certainly in Australia when the pandemic struck, it was phenomenal the way toilet paper just went out of stock. Like people raced to the supermarket and supermarkets across the country were out of toilet paper. It was the weirdest thing. 
like that's where people's the the fear of not having enough just took over and there were physical bust ups in supermarkets because people were grabbing at like the last toilet roll like it was insane it was it was nuts to watch so this concept of not enoughness let's go back to basics so imagination creates reality so the physical reality that we experience with our physical senses is a projection of our imagined world so consciousness gets pushed out and reflected back in our experience in our 3d experience that's how this game works this is the dream and we've just forgotten that we are the dreamers that's what these teachings are reminding us of is that this is a dream and it's happening within us so if something in the dream is not to our liking or it's unfavorable we go within we don't go out and we've been conditioned to go out and try and fix it and grab at it and take what we can it's all a game of consciousness this is really what the game is about it's a game of consciousness and the states of consciousness that we hold will get pushed out and reflected back and one of the common states of consciousness, I want to say the majority of people hold to some degree, is the consciousness of not enoughness. Now, the concept of not having enough comes from the story, I am not enough. So if you have the I'm not enough story running in any capacity in your life, you will experience a reality of not having enough, of not being enough, of not getting, like they're not being enough. That's how it gets reflected back. And also with other people, if you feel less than or better than, that's because there's a state, there's a consciousness of not enoughness. So what we want to do is we want to heal that story. We want to reconnect to the state of consciousness of enoughness. And we want to hold that. We want to embed that in consciousness where we feel the enough we we know we are enough and what happens is as that new story gets embedded it gets pushed out and we have the experience of enoughness we have enough friends we have enough love we have enough food we have enough water we have enough warmth we have enough clothes that's a big one. Oh my goodness when that story was running for me a long time ago and I caught the pattern that when I was dating like in this sort of dating phase Every time I met someone new, suddenly I didn't have enough clothes and I would go out on a shopping binge and I would buy, and it was so weird because I'd buy all these clothes in a rush and I'd bring them clothes home and none of them really fit or I didn't really like them and they didn't kind of fit properly and I didn't feel comfortable on, in them. So I'd go out on this date wearing this new outfit that I'd bought because it was new, feeling so self-conscious and not good enough. And it's just like, you know, I look back on that with a lot of compassion and self-forgiveness, but I look back on it and I'm like, oh, honey, oh, you know, those clothes aren't going to fill that void for you. Like, come back, come back, come back. You know, I, I look back on those. And in fact, that's probably something I've got to revise now that I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> there's so much, you know, this is a full-time job. Revising, recreating, it's like, wow, there's a lot to do here. So that story of not enoughness is so pervasive and... I certainly know it in myself and in the next video I want to share a very personal story of how I have worked with this meditation that I'm going to share with you in a moment and I have been embedding the state of consciousness of enoughness in myself and have been experiencing direct reflections, like immediate. It's been phenomenal. So let me tell you about the meditation. Like I created it for myself because of what I was going through, which I'll share with you in the next video. So as I was working on this meditation I was having this experience in my reality as well that this this video this meditation was actually helping me with it was amazing but what it's really doing is just realigning us with this with the state of consciousness of enoughness and that's really all you have to do and I know that if you do this on a daily basis just listen to it once or like whenever you can you are going to start to see the difference like without a doubt so check the meditation out I highly recommend it. In the next video, I'm going to share a very personal story of how this meditation really helped me change this not good enoughness story. It's a story running in me. It's a story running in everybody, really, to a degree, because, you know, again, it's a setup. If we knew that we were enough coming into this, then where's the fun in the game? Of course, spoiler alert, you are enough. Now that you know that, you can experience having enough. And when you have enough, there's an ease, there's a freedom, there's a liberation. You're not grabbing, you're not clasping, and there's a perfection in everything. And I'll, I'll share more about that in the story that I'm going to talk about. So that's all I just wanted to share with you. This week is really about enoughness. So I encourage you to really align to your enoughness because I promise you that will be the answer to so many things that you might be struggling with in your reality because most of the time we don't know that we've got that story running. Whether or not you're conscious of that story, 
just apply this and align with your enoughness and you will start to see things shift pretty quickly. And I just want to offer you three plays for today. Number one, observe to see where you are playing less than or better than. So if you're feeling inferior or superior, they are two sides of the same coin and that coin is the unworthiness coin, that feeling of not being good enough. So we want to come back align with our enoughness. We are not less than, we are not better than. We are perfect just the way we are, as is everybody else. And when you move through the world from that state of consciousness, there's a perfection in everything. Like you will start to see that being reflected back. Then start affirming I am enough every day. Just do that on a daily basis. Stand in front of the mirror, remind yourself of your enoughness. And I would also, number three, practice the meditation once a day, like really drop into that state of consciousness. And like, as I do it, I lie on the bed, I put my blindfold on and I just drift off into this spaciousness and it feels so good and I can actually feel the energy moving through my body. So check it out, give it a go, see what you think. Please remember you are the creators of your reality, you are the superstar of your show, you are the producer, the writer, the director and the actor in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you and assume the best for everyone in your movie too and you will have an amazing life. This is my wish for you. Thank you for listening. Please feel free to share, like and comment on this video. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Bye.